Well, day three. Mrs. Yankee's not doing so hot. She was up all night throwing up. Low grade fever, but now she doesn't have one. Body aches and her back is killing her. So I'm bringing this to her now. This stool with a thermometer and, and hand sanitizer. All right. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Sorry, honey. Uh, all right. Back to my room. <laughs> uh, so, let me take this mask off. Uh, there we go. So, interesting. <clears throat> I woke up this morning. <clears throat> actually not feeling that bad. Yeah, my, my chest is clear. My uh, sinuses aren't really bad at all. I don't have a headache. I don't have body aches. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, I don't know. It, <laughs> could I be over it this fast? This is ridiculous. But my wife is not doing well. Like I said, all night she's been uh, vomiting, dry heaves. I ugh, hate dry heaves. <laughs> um, oh, I just feel really bad for her. So, yeah, I don't I don't get it. Little Stacks in his room behind me. He's at school virtually doing his thing and and it's just I don't know. He's he's feeling okay too. All three of us are going to get tested in just about 2 hours from now. And uh, I'll let you know how that goes with an update, but I I, I want to know. I need to know if she has it and whether or not we have it and we're just kind of asymptomatic, which is weird. If she has it and little stacks and I are negative, we're going to be back to internal quarantining here and separate rooms and all that. I don't know if it's possible to keep from getting it, but it's a, it's a real challenge. So anyways, I'm, I'm here doing a little bit of editing and, uh, <sighs> waiting till we go over to get tested. By the way, I'm, I'm in my daughter's old room, my oldest laying here. Looking up at a uh, blackboard wall that we had put together, a chalkboard wall, I guess you could call it. Um, she's uh, drawn that over a year ago now when she moved out and got married. <laughs> I haven't, uh, haven't had the heart to erase it. Isn't that cool? Very artistic. <laughs> I think of her when I see this in the years she spent in this room. Years go by fast, guys. They really do. I appreciate all your comments. Uh, a lot of tips, a lot of help. Uh, let you know I am taking a pile of vitamins, okay? Um, we stock up and we have quite a bit. So we're, we're pumping that stuff, taking fluids, keeping hydrated, all that. Um, of course, my, my wife, yeah, I had to give her a little bit of ginger ale. She's, she's starting to sip it now. Hopefully she can... Uh, get back from that and start getting solid food soon so anyways thanks for watching i'll give you an update real soon all right so here is my update for day number three it's now 10 21 on did i get this right february 8th <laughs> not september yeah, it's been a tough, tough day for her, for the missus. Um, she is vomiting, which I know is a symptom of COVID. You know, it's tough to, <laughs> it's tough not to be in there, you know? And it's like, it, it, the separation thing is, is really rough. I mean, this is pretty mild uh, in terms of, where we're at right now but I, I was thinking about the um the elderly people who have had to um you know or or uh, i'm thinking elderly people right now that have been separated uh through you know in the nursing home or in the hospital and they can't be with each other and even if it's you know a, a fatal uh, scenario here because of, uh, of complications a pre-existing condition whatever it is 
um, and just being a part. Get a tiny little taste of it. And, and I, people have been sharing, you know, stories in the comments and emailing me about, you know, what their families have gone through, friends have gone through. So I don't dare, you know, e equate what we're going through with any of those tragic um, circumstances that people have shared. But I just I got a taste of it. You know, FaceTiming is not the same. Um, but, you know, she'll probably be fine. She just got to get through the night, take little sips to keep her hydrated and don't put anything on her stomach. We did go at uh, 3 p.m. Um, little snacks, Mrs. and myself, to get tested. So <sighs> I like looking at silver when I'm feeling kind of, uh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. And I got that during for the uh, Yankee Swap on Silver Heist's channel. That was cool. And I love this. I don't know, what do you think, guys? Should I should I peel this open? It's the um, Germania Mint Allegories 2019. I wanna see it, <laughs> but it's sealed up in the Atmex plastic. I don't know. Do I rip it open or not? Let me know if I should take it out of here or not. I guess if I was going to resell it or flip it, you know, I, I should, I'd leave it in the plastic. But I don't know. I think that's a permanent permanent uh, entry into the Yankee ice cream cone box. So, anyways, guys, that's day three. I'll talk to you tomorrow.